All right, Al, thanks very much. Congressional hearings begin today into the deadly meningitis outbreak linked to tainted steroid injections. The co-owner of the Massachusetts pharmacy that made the drugs, as well as federal and state regulators, will be asked to explain what went wrong and why critics say so many red flags were missed. NBC's senior investigative correspondent Lisa Myers has more on the story. Lisa, good morning. Hey, Willie, good morning. The co-owner of the pharmacy has signaled that he'll take the fifth today and refuse to answer questions because of ongoing criminal investigations. That will leave federal and state regulators on the hot seat to explain why they allowed a business with a checkered history to keep making drugs with deadly consequences. I hope to carry on Papa's love and passion for the law. 78-year-old Eddie Lovelace was a circuit judge in Kentucky who got spinal injections this summer to relieve back pain. Daddy, I love you more than life. He'd been buried with this touching tribute from his family. I could speak to you again, I would tell you how much I love you. Before his wife Joyce finally learned that he was among the first victims of the meningitis outbreak. You think you're in a safe place, and then they inject something into your body that kills you. And, and I mean, this is America. Can't we expect more? So far, 32 are dead and 438 sickened by tainted steroids, which federal authorities say came from the New England Compounding Center. In terms of new infections occurring, I do think the worst is over. A recent inspection of the NECC facility found serious safety violations, mold and bacteria in clean rooms, unsanitary conditions, and improper sterilization procedures. A staff report by the House Committee investigating the crisis says NECC has a long history of very similar, if not identical, underlying misconduct, going back a decade. In 2002, an FDA inspection turned up sterility problems, and later that year, two patients came down with bacterial meningitis after receiving the same steroid linked to the current crisis. The FDA suggested the pharmacy be shut down and prohibited from manufacturing until procedures improved. But state regulators later found the pharmacy in compliance. If this New England uh, compounding center was shut down and uh, uh, prevented from uh, manufacturing all these uh, chemicals, uh, we could have stopped this tragedy. Massachusetts regulators also investigated at least 12 complaints about NECC or its owner and issued four letters or informal reprimands. Someone dropped the ball. Someone along the way was careless, was greedy, was negligent, and they cost my husband his life. Now, the state revoked NECC's license last month. The FDA says its authority over these kind of pharmacies is limited, and it's committed to strengthening the system. NECC had no comment about today's hearing, but has said it's cooperating with all investigations. Mm. Willie? All right, Lisa Myers, thank you very much. Savannah? All right, Willie, thanks. The Friday after Thanksgiving has long.